Apple has previewed a number of exciting accessibility features that are all set to come with software updates like iOS 18, iPadOS 18, macOS 15, and Vision OS 2. Note that the announcement comes one day ahead of the Global Accessibility Awareness Day. That said, let's have a quick look at all the major accessibility features that Apple had just previewed. First off, I would like to talk about the eye tracking. Apple says that eye tracking on the iPhone and iPad will allow users to navigate system interfaces and apps with just their eyes. Powered by artificial intelligence, eye tracking gives users a built-in option for navigating iPhone and iPad with just their eyes. Designed for users with physical disabilities, eye tracking uses the front-facing camera to set up and calibrate in seconds. And with on-device machine learning, all data used to set up and control this feature is kept securely on device and even shared with Apple. Next up, I would like to talk about the music haptics. When this feature is turned on, the iPhone's haptic engine will play taps, textures, and refined vibrations that correspond with the audio of the music. Music haptics is a new way for users who are deaf or hard of hearing to experience music on iPhone. With this accessibility feature turned on, the haptic engine in iPhone plays taps, textures, and refined vibrations to the audio of the music. Note that Music Haptics works across millions of songs in the Apple Music catalog and will be available as an API for developers to make music more accessible in their apps as well. Then I would like to talk about Vocal Shortcuts. Vocal Shortcuts will allow iPhone and iPad users to assign custom utterances that Siri can understand to launch shortcuts and complete complex tasks. It's worth pointing out that Mac users will gain the ability to customize voiceover, keyboard shortcuts, and Mandarin support for personal voice, while the Vision Pro will get system-wide live captions, reduce transparency, smart invert, and dim flashing lights. Then I would like to talk about the vehicle motion cues. This feature is designed to reduce motion sickness by looking at an iPhone or iPad screen in moving vehicle. With vehicle motion cues, animated dots on the edges of the screen represent changes in vehicle motion to help reduce sensory conflict without interfering with the main content. Using sensors built into iPhone and iPad, vehicle motion cues recognizes when a user is in a moving vehicle and responds accordingly. The feature can be set to show automatically on iPhone or can be turned on and off in Control Center. Then I would like to talk about the features that are all set to arrive in CarPlay. CarPlay will be gaining voice control, color filters, and sound recognition. Sound recognition on CarPlay will allow drivers or passengers who are deaf or hard of hearing to turn on alerts to be notified of car horns and sirens. Vision OS 2 will support live captions, thereby allowing users who are deaf or hard of hearing to follow along with spoken dialogue in live conversations and in audio from apps. For users who are blind or have low vision, voiceover will include new voices and a flexible voice rotor, custom volume control, and the ability to customize voiceover keyboard shortcuts on Mac. And Magnifier will offer a new reader mode and the option to easily launch detection mode with the action button. And Braille users will get a new way to start and stay in Braille screen input for faster control and text editing. Japanese language availability for Braille screen input, support for multi-line Braille with dot pad, and the option to choose different input and output tables. For users with low vision, hover typing shows larger text when typing in a text field and in a user's preferred font and color. And for users at risk of losing their ability ability to speak, personal voice will be available in Mandarin Chinese. Users who have difficulty pronouncing or reading full sentences will be able to create a personal voice using certain phrases. And for users who are non-speaking, live speech will include categories and simultaneous compatibility with live captions. And for users with physical disabilities, virtual trackpad for assistive touch allows users to control their device using a small region of the screen as a resizable trackpad. And switch control will include the option to use the cameras in iPhone and iPad to recognize finger tap gestures as features. And voice control will offer support for custom vocabularies and complex words. 
And that's all there is to it. So these are the noted accessibility features that are all set to arrive in iOS 18, iPad OS 18, Mac OS 15, and Vision OS 2 this fall. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye bye.